Hello guys, myself Ankita. In this video, we shall see another problem, climbing stairs. So, what's the given problem? You are given, you are climbing a staircase. It takes n steps to reach the top. So, for example, if a staircase is there, like this, it takes how many steps to reach the top here? One, two, and three. So, yeah, it takes n, n steps to reach the top. Each time you can either climb one or two steps. How many distinct ways you can climb the climb to the top? So they're telling if you have like three steps like this, either you can climb one one step one each time, or you can climb two steps at first time and remaining one step only once you can climb, or else first you step only one step, then you climb two steps. So these three possible ways we have to climb the three step staircase. So each time you can either climb one step ahead or two step ahead. That that's left for you. And what's your job is? What's our job is to find the number of ways to climb the top. So I explain for three. If there is zero steps, then you need not to climb any step. That means only one. If there is one step, again. Only once you can climb, or you cannot climb two steps ahead, right? Only one step is present, so one step ahead. If you have two steps, <coughs> sorry, you can climb either one, one each, one step once and another step again, or else at a time you can climb two steps. If you have three, as I said, one step each, then two, then one, one and two. Similarly for four, one step each, or you climb two at once, then one, one, then the Two has three three cases like at first you step one step, then you climb two step, then again you climb one step, or first you climb one one step, then at the last you climb two step at the moment. Or uh, if you uh, climb two steps simultaneously, one two three five possible ways for this. So this is three possible ways. There's nothing but for two it's two possible ways. So for zero and one one. One possible way for two, two possible ways, three, three possible ways, four, five possible ways. So if you actually think about the logic, you have given steps like this. One, two, three. Let's take the example of climbing three steps. Staircase. Staircase. So. At first, you are at the zeroth step, right? That will be zeroth step. Will be have will have uh, what uh, what what are the possible ways to climb the zero uh, zero steps? There is only one way. You need not to suppose climb any step. If you have one step in the staircase, then only one way again. For two steps is there in the staircase. Then either you can uh, first you have to you will be in the zeroth step that is one plus uh, climbing the one one uh, first step that is one so total it will be two similarly for the three step staircase uh, you will have to uh, first uh, consider the zeroth step so you climb it zero ways then first step you climb it only one ways then second step you can climb it in two ways. Similarly for fourth one, all this sum. So it is nothing but one plus two plus, then this sum is three. So three four five six. Six possible ways. So if you what we can conclude is we can use a diamond dynamic programming approach here. So if an array is initialized. And that array will have size n plus one. Why n plus one? Because you are counting the steps from zero to n here. So you need n plus one size of the array. And dp of i will be nothing but dp of i minus one plus dp of i minus two. So in what case it's dp of i minus one? Plus i minus two. Dp of i. I'm not writing dp here. 
so as i said if you consider uh we know dp of 0 is nothing but 1 and dp of 1 also that's 1 so a staircase containing zero steps we have possible ways of climbing the step is one because in order to oh, climb many step and that uh, itself is considered as one possible way so dp of 1 also it will be one because if there is only one step in the staircase only one step you can move ahead so one possible way this we know what about dp of 2 dp of 2 is climbing the zero step plus dp of 0 plus dp of 1 so that is another one dp of i minus 1 plus dp of i minus 2 so dp of 2 equal to dp of i minus 1 so that is dp of 1 plus dp of i minus 2 that is another one dp of 0 so 1 so dp of 2 is 2 so two step staircase you can climb in two ways what about dp of 3 Again, similar dp of i minus 1 that is nothing but 2 dp of 2 that is we have the sum 2 plus dp of i minus 2 i minus 2 is nothing but dp of 1 so total you have 3 again for dp of 4 that is nothing but dp of i minus 1 dp of 3 that is we have 3 plus dp of i minus 2 nothing but 2 so you have 5 possible cases so hence we could see here we are using the logic of dynamic programming so now you all might have a doubt why dp of i minus 1 and i minus 2 is required because they are given in the question that either you can climb one step ahead or two step ahead right so if you are moving one step then dp of i minus 1 if you are moving two steps then you start from i minus 2 and you move two steps front so for each condition you are recursively taking the possibility of moving one step or two. That is what you are doing here. So at last you have written dp of n. So we shall code this int. Okay, at first you have to check if n is uh, less than or equal to one, then you have to return one. Why? If n is 0, we have one possible way. If n is 1, also one possible way. So we have to return 1. If that is not the case, now you have to declare a array in dp equal to new int of n plus 1. I'm sorry. Once you have this, now we have to initialize dp of 0 equal to 1 and dp of 1 is also equal to 1. That is a base condition which is here. Now you have to, since we have initialized dp of 0, dp of 1, because for, for this formula to apply, you need dp of 0 and dp of 1. We are starting from dp of 2. That's why we need this. Now for int i equal to 2, i lesser than n equal to n and i plus plus dp of i is nothing but dp of i minus 1 you are moving one step considering one step and plus dp of i minus 2 and so once you do this at last you have written dp of We'll run this. Submit this. You can see the beat is hundred percent. So the problem is successfully submitted. If you have any doubts, please drop on in the comment section. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, subscribe to the channel and keep learning. Thank you.